Hey, how you doing? This is Scott. We're out here at Tiger's Garden. Uh, we're in southern Nevada, United States. We're in zone 9. It's uh, the middle of January 2017. I've been doing some maintenance on the garden. Took all the plants out. Uh, getting ready to do some replanting, so I thought I'd take a few minutes and uh, show you how this aquaponics garden works. Uh, it's running off a 40 watt air pump and we move the, all the water through that, 360 gallons a minute. Uh, we got three cinder beds, three floating rafts, a start bed. Uh, we got this water delivery where we uh, pump it in through there through an out pump. I'm going to show you how, how, almost all the components and give you a brief description of how they work. I'm a better gardener than I am a video editor. Or Know, making movies, so I'm giving it a tent. I've done a lot of different takes or cuts, whatever you want to call it, in different areas, and I'm going to splice it all together. Hope it make a little bit of sense. Uh, so, uh, if you got about another 10 minutes, we'll, uh, we'll go through this uh, piece by piece, and then uh, we'll show you how it all goes together and how we get it done. So, uh, we'll start over at the uh, pump house. I call it a pump house, it's my shed, it's got my little air pump in it. It's a pump house, all right, but it is. Anyways, we'll see you over at the pump house. Okay, so this is the uh, Madela uh, pump that I'm using. 40 watts, you can see that this air hose, just a garden hose, comes out. I have it come out through the bottom of my shed. And we'll pick it up over outside over by the fish tank and show you where it goes to. This pump runs 24-7, you can barely hear it. It's got no moving parts. It uh, it's uses, you know, based off the Hertz uh, vibration. Anyways, see you over at the fish tank. All right, over at the fish tank, what's going on is, you got this pipe in here, the stand pipe in there, and that water comes out through that pipe. As you can see, I cut a bunch of slots in there. Keep the fish from going for a journey up a pipe. Happened to a catfish one time. Anyways, that water uh, comes out through that pipe, through the cider. I got a bulkhead fitting down there in the bottom of the fish tank. Through gravity, it comes up this pipe and goes into this two inch check valve, the swing gate valve. And here's where that other end of that green hose shows up and that's where the hour valve. So what happens is uh, the water travels in the pipe this way and that swing gate valve sitting there like this and that air pushes into there slams that gate shut water's got to go somewhere it's buoyant with the water science all that stuff happens pushes it up through here and all of a sudden I'm getting uh, filling up three three uh, cinder beds simultaneously at the same time I'm moving about 360 gallons an hour through this system so I'm you know circulating the the fish tank probably gets circulated two, two and a half times every hour through the cinder beds and ultimately through the through the floating raft beds where they do the most, where they take the most uh, most of the nitrates out of the system. Okay, I'll see you over at the uh, cinder beds. Show you what happens next. All right, so I've shown you how the water gets from the fish tank uh, through the airless system into the cinder beds. Here's the cinder beds. Uh, I'm going to do some maintenance on them and get them all cleaned out and get them ready for the next growing season. Uh, this is what's left of the onions. So what's going on is we're lifting the water up and it's filling up. So uh, what we've done is, is we uh, taken another, you can see the PVC pipes in there, that's for uh, a layer to keep it off the bottom. What we've done is I've taken a, another pipe, I mean uh, another grow bed, one of these feed trays I got from Cal Ranch, and I put a, well, somewhere between a gob and a shitload of holes in these, and made a colander out of it. So here's what happens. Put it in there, okay, let's sit in there and I'm going to put the cinders back in there, but we'll run a cycle without the cinders in there. And then this is going to fill up. All 
right, you can see that the uh, the cinder bed, they're full. Okay, it's getting ready to do a flush. Uh, the fish tank is uh, down a little bit because we had to uh, fill up the uh, cinder beds, and I'll show you how that works. You know. So what's getting ready to happen now through the valve system, this is going to drain at the same time that it's filling up. I've got an external siphon. Uh, you saw all that has a drain bed in the bottom of these. So it's getting ready to it's getting ready to turn off, and we'll show you when that happens how fast the water starts to drain out. Okay, it's beginning its flush. You might be able to hear that the siphon started, and you'll see that the water is starting to. Uh, come down at a pretty substantial rate even though we still have the water coming in. Alright so we're going to take a peek underneath the grow beds. Okay, Each one of the grow beds has a two inch shower drain in the bottom of it. I didn't explain that very well when I had it out. Each of these pipes coming down is coming from the grow bed. They're all full of water. So what we're trying to do here it's through this valve system I'm trying to start a siphon okay and then ultimately through this pipe right here I'm trying to break the siphon when I'm done with it so what happens is as I shown you how the water gets into the fill beds to the cinder beds this water is rising up now these are all together in these pipes okay this pipe here sets the height of the water in these so when the water gets up over here it comes over here comes down this pipe and it crashes down into this dead end down here. And what's going to happen here is, is we're going to allow the air to escape through these 45s. We're, we're in a, we're already in a drain mode and I'll show you a drain in there but what's happened is, is in order to start this siphon we've allowed all the air to escape through this and come out through this pipe. It creates a pipe that's full we got the siphon going on and we're, and we're flushing our cinder beds. Okay, so now we're over here at the floating raft tables. The uh, cinder beds are now in the flood, the drain mode. And that means that these are into the flood mode. What that means here is I just simply have a standpipe in there, dictates the height of my bed and I put this kind of cruddy looking thing in here. It's, I use it as a clean water pickup. The water has to go in through the bottom so anything that happens to float on top uh, won't go back down the fish tank. So what's going on down here is see once again we got pipes going to the bottom and they race all the way down down to here and come back in to the fish tank where it's full of happy fish. Okay, you can see the water's draining out of the grow beds, out of the uh, cinder beds, and you know, the design I have it set up here, I completely drain these beds dry. What's going on is this water has been held up into here, and once it gets below there, there's no more water. This water will fall out, let air go into this, and allow this valve to clear out and return those. Ah, so okay, what you're gonna hear here in a second, you're gonna hear the this pipe. You're gonna hear this pipe here take its drop the water out and get a gulp of air. And at the same time, those valves will turn off. Okay, it just took its burp, dropped the water out. And those just turned off. No more water coming up. Now once again guys, gals, everybody's listening. I have no moving parts in this system, okay? No moving parts. And that's how the garden works. I showed you everything. Uh, we completed a full cycle. I tried to show you all the components. Uh, if you like this video, please like, subscribe, share, make some comments. 
Uh, join us at Coggins Garden on Facebook. I'll be holding uh, workshops throughout the year. Next one's going to be in March. Uh, thanks for watching. Have a great day.